We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're continuing with the Triple P series, the Patreon Patrons Pick series. It is HOM 5, Heroes of Might and Magic 5, and we are diving right back on in. I have my new mixer board on deck, and hopefully everything sounds good. We'll see, I guess, as we go. And, yeah, I guess we're off. So, like I, I alluded to in the previous episode... Uh, we are going to attempt very much so to essentially just soak the map of all stats and attributes and upgrade points and all the things that we can. And Shadia and or Shadia and uh, Raylag are both maxed out on level 18 characters, so really either one of them can just go around and do whatever they want at this point. So we're going to try to split it up and get as much as we can. I, if I'm super lucky, I can finish this in one episode. If I'm not, it's going to be two. So that is where we stand right now. And I think the most important part of all this is that Raylag gets his uh, hands on everything. Beyond that, it does not matter all that much. So I am going to, again, endeavor to do the maximum that I can. I was going to go directly down and get the spells, and that's the other the other crux of it all, is we need to get down into the uh, the towns, each one of them, to make sure we gather all the spells that we can possibly gather. And that's, that's really about it. Ooh, we found a new artifact. I guess it's only gold at this point for our crew. And I don't know where this one's going to lead. It should be entertaining either way. Also, all of our towns are maxed out on buildings, so there's literally nothing left for us to build. Only thing we have left to spend our cash monies on is going to be on troops, which, honestly, we probably don't need more than what we have. So, yeah. I don't know that any of our relics and things are going to really exist beyond this map. They tend to... What is this? Interesting. This is interesting, I suppose. Alright, well. Yeah, we'll go hang out at this, I guess. How many dragons do you think it is? I'm a little concerned. That's 12. I mean, that's, that's not an insignificant number. We got two of them out there. Be able to do that. Taking another one down. Got a lot of poison coming out. Uh, that's unfortunate. Gonna roll out with you. Gonna hit you with that. Oh, we're gonna do some work with this gal. And then, of course, our 16 dragons are gonna come over and hang out and eat you. So it's all good. I wasn't particularly worried unless it, like, went super early in its turn rotation. Dragon Utopia. For centuries, these ancient ruins were inhabited by dragons. Defeat them, and you will get their treasures. <laughs> I, I'm here for it. Well, let's try to defeat the dragons. I don't know that I've fought a Dragon Utopia in 5 yet, have we? It feels like no. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. What if I... Like, if I go there, it's almost guaranteed that the Emerald Dragons are going to roll over here and attack her. And I don't want to lose those characters, so I'm going to move you down here. We're probably going to have our... Yeah. Oh, you hit our Hydras too. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I get that. Oh, good. And our 16 go before their 4. That's, that's good. The Emeralds seem to outperform our Shadow Dragons, which is fine. I mean, I knew there was going to be some losses. I wasn't sure what it was going to be. But don't we already have that? On our other person, adds three to the hero's knowledge and increases initiative of all flying units in the hero's army by 10%. I mean, I guess... That's alright. This one's not that bad. Like, we have some decent stuff here. 
And yeah, the experience by the heroes is kind of underwhelming. Eh, it's it's whatever. There's a lot of cash and monies to be had over here. There's a few things to still defeat. Wait, we're finding more artifacts? Oh, was that there too? I just didn't notice it. Plus four to hero's attack and renders all creatures in the hero's army immune to the slow spell. Alright, that's, that's, that's not bad. I also learned a spell. Curse of the Netherworld. Puppet Master. Wow, I didn't know you could learn spells from... Okay. Well, that's actually really good. I kind of wish I did that with Raylag now. Can Raylag still do that? I guess not. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'm not that upset about it. It's all good. Gather up all the gold. There shouldn't be anything else for us to do here. Oh, I can actually make it around the backside. Nice. Often enough times they like to be like, nah, you can't walk around the backside of this. It don't work that way. I'm sorry. And then you're stuck doing you know whatever it is that they want you to do. But in this case, that's not how it worked. Please don't make me... Uh, why do you want me to fight you? I don't want to fight you. Oh, my army is all sorts of messed up. My positioning is awful with you. I need to... I need to fix that something something fierce here, my goodness. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do much, but surprise a surprise. We'll empower an ice bolt on you. It's really about the best thing we can do. And I wonder who's gonna eat it. Oh, we got a we got a crit off that. Let it be the dragon. Attack the dragon. Nope. Ooh, you didn't actually kill anyone there. I don't know the poison. Do we survive? Ah, you got one. Dang, I thought maybe, I thought just maybe we'd get out of that. It's all right. I'm not upset. It's all good. You guys make that noise. You bang those drums. I know they're not drums. It's fine. Artifact found, the Sack of Endless Gold. Excellente. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. It has to go there, does it? I don't care about my fire-based spells. I do care about my, my icicle thing, though. All right, you know, it's all, it's all good. Okay, I think now is the time we can finally go under the ground and do the thing that we have to do, or we can just come over here and start fighting this stuff. I think I'm going to do that instead. Like I said, I want to get underground, I want to get my war machines back, I want to do a lot of things, but we got to continue to go steady and strong and, you know, kind of forward-facing and all the stuffs. Nope. Alright. Well, that's that, I suppose. I don't care about the gold I left behind. I saw it there. As I was leaving, I'm like, dang it, it's all good. So there's not that much left for us to do at this point. Pretty excited. Why are we fighting this? Why is this even a thing that we're doing right now? I do not understand. Sam, I am. I do not understand with your green eggs and your ham. Or your can of spam, or your wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Got a furry flaming back. That's kind of weird. Would you like to stroke my back, flame? Nah, nah. I'm, I'm good. Was it chilly night? Like, what are we talking here? You know what we're talking about? No, no, I don't. That's why I asked. All right, a little bit of a uh, crystal there. No, it's what gems. Can I really not get over here? Okay. Well, that seems weird. I mean, I thought for sure I'd be... That's, you know what? It's fine. Not gonna dwell on it. What did I miss getting over here? Oh, this thing. 
There's a gold mine right there. And I've missed that this whole time. Yeah, that's about right. I don't know why these things surprise me, if I'm being honest. Oh yeah, that's right, you were gonna go explore something. I forgot I actually had a mission for you, but you're basically going up into the same realm that she's coming down from, so in reality, less impressive than it used to be. Bye, Mr. Vampire and friends. The Alchemist's Lab? Hmm. So we gotta clear that, get that, we gotta take this guy down, and then we're gonna get spell power. Spell power. Excellent. Uh, it's all starting to add up. Okay, so we're learning some new spells. I want my war machines. Are they here? They are here. Come on, give it to me. And... I'm just gonna wait until the next deal. We got a fairly large amount of things. Of like monetary supply at this point. So, and just overall extra stuff. So I'm gonna sell some of that. I'll buy that in the next round. So we got what? Fireball, confusion, nice ish. Chain lightning, that's actually pretty good. And that's it. Okay. That's fine. And in the old turn. The week of the swallow. Alright, let's go ahead and grab up all the y'allses. Shout out to Mama McSquigums for the y'allses. Yeah, I don't I don't really get it either. It's cool though. Uh okay. I, I kinda freaked myself out there a little bit. I'm like, why am I up here with you now, and why am I staring down an enemy here, but it's not? Why does she fly a different colored banner than we do, or is it you that flies a different colored banner? Because yours is like a purple, and yours is more red, and you have weird... I guess yours is red too. Alright, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. I will leave the 101 ghosts to their own Dalmatians. It's going to be fine. We're going to go over here. I do not know what I want to do with you. Um, I got nothing. Uh, well, you know, I actually do have something. Come on. Scroll. There we go. You're going to go over here and you're going to get that. That is your new mission, your new goal in life if you wheel is to gather up that resource I suppose forgive me as I look around we've gotten that already right yep that's been visited I we'll go there we visited it did that we revisited it did this okay was there anything down here that we did not check out a little spell book there. There's a little bit of stuff that we just have to do in general over here. Uh, we definitely need to make sure we get to that. That's going to be pretty important. And down over here, there's the little upgrade fort. We still got a lot to do, folks. I mean, I don't know that we need to do all of it, but there's still a lot of map to cover. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get to everything. But I cannot promise it's going to go well. But, thankfully, we should be more than powerful enough to make most, if not everyone, flee. Shrieking in terror and questioning their life choices. You know, like one does. How do I just... How do I get... You know what? I'm going to stop off here. I'm going to smack this. And... Oh, and we have to fight it. Alright, let's see if we can't... Let's see if we can't put our people in the right... I say the right place. There's not really wrong places, but you know what I mean. Like in better choices. Why are you not over where I put you originally? Put you there, there. I think I'm gonna put you up here. You there, and then the Dagron right there. Cannot close with you just yet, good sir, but do not fear. I will get there eventually. Alright, let me get you to scooch on up, and then dragon time! 
Boom with the crit. He said good day, sir. I already have that. Don't need it again. End of the turn. Okay, so we've done that, but we have not done this. So that's where you're going now. Get your old spell power on, my friend. You're now coming over here to do this. Well, I'll give you experience. Why not? In advanced Enlightenment. Got Battle Frenzy. Eh? Minimum and maximum damage inflicted by each creature under the hero's control is increased by one. That's really impressive, actually. And then same thing with Archery. I'll go with Advanced Enlightenment. Yep, the Evercold. I should have also switched over and got... You know what, it's fine. It doesn't matter. The Bag of Endless Gold. Don't you have one of those already? No? Okay. Apparently I'm losing my mind. Oh! You are going to do battle with me as well. Okay, unexpected. Unexpected turn of events. I am not upset with this. I am slightly upset at the fact that you guys are going to be able to go before most of my crew. I'm going to hurt a lot of you, though. Uh, crap. Um... Yeah. Boop. Completely annihilated. Really, oh wow. Really hurt you. I'm gonna knock you back. I'm bummed out that we had our one person lost there. That's alright. It's weird that they don't get to go twice before somebody goes once, but eh. Not much you can do about it. Just have to accept it and move on. Alright, what are we looking at? I don't really care just yet. Like I said, we're kind of going through the, the motions, so to speak, at this point. When it comes to these things. Um, I don't believe you ever came all the way down here, so we're going to get you to go down there. I said, a lot to do, folks. A lot to do. When it comes to our members right now. A lot of different things we want to pick up. A lot of stuff we need to accomplish. Most of the map we've got cleared. But really it's the bottom left area on the map. That's going to be. I don't necessarily want to say the biggest challenge. But it's probably going to take us the most time. Alright. And then of course she has to go underground. And then make her way to where she's going to go. As it stands, we'll we'll full clear down here this time. There's no reason not to. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with you, to be honest. Well, I'll see how we get to that spot soon enough. Let's grab this up. There are a few things in the bottom right corner that we did not quite explore yet. So let's go ahead down there and check that out. And everybody kind of has their mission at this point. So it's just getting folks to get where they're supposed to be. Doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I did explore this fully. I did. Okay. No, I... Oh, did I really click that way? I guess I did. I thought I just stopped her from moving, but apparently that is not what I did. Onward! Traverse the map, fool! And what do we see? We see some liches down here that do not want to fight us. Arch liches, in fact. And a whole bunch more resources that we absolutely don't need. That's all good. What, what a night and day difference from my first attempt at playing this map. Like, so much change. So It was such a different 
tactic or what have you. Refuse. Go ahead, get out of here. Like, the first time around, we just kind of got mollywopped, right? We got slapped around. We were made to look silly. We couldn't keep up. We got overrun really, really rapidly, and we fell very, very, very far behind. Second time around, we went full crazy, just full all-out mad dash attack, essentially. And somehow, through it all, our, our, our ray lag managed to survive. We were able to keep going. Our army did not die off. And things kind of turned around. I did not know that was going to be a possibility. I think I'm going to go pick up some troops, actually. I can't quite make it to where I want to go with you. So, we're going to solve that problem by giving you some troops. Granted, you're not super strong, but if you have an entire week's worth of troops in your back pocket, I don't think that matters all that much. Alright, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to go take a peek. I don't know where this leads. Oh. It's a little further along. Okay, well, I mean... He can do that, I suppose. And we're going to come over here. You going to join? Nope. Wow, another group that wants to do battle. Interesting choice. Quite interesting, in fact. Alright. I kind of wish we had the unlimited range thing with, with our boy here. With Ray lag as opposed to the others. It was all good. I sort of just want to go at it, but... That's going to leave a mark. Yeah, that definitely hurt. Uh, I mean... Might as well. Yeah, I'll take you down. 78 of our boys, just gonna chill. The 53 moved up, the 45. I still gonna play it safe. I don't think they have enough oomph to take down a dragon, but they might. Like, I might be overreaching, you know? I'm gonna put you here, and I'm gonna run this attack. Just big hits, follow up, and down you go. And a quick little slap here, and then the follow up with the dragons. And we said good day, sir. Alright, down goes the Minotaur. Just such a, such a, I don't know, it just looks so good to me. Now again, you know, even the portraits here look fine. It, it's, it's the cinematics, right? The cinematics look chonky and, and not great. But, you know what, I don't care about that. I never did. I appreciate that there's a storyline. I appreciate there's more of an emphasis and a direction and a focus on the storyline. I, I don't know, guys and gals. I, it, it bums me out every once in a while because, you know, you, you have the continuation of the series. Whether people particularly love it or not, you know, like, oh, obviously, you know, in a perfect world. And I'm, I'm not talking about the, the publisher, Perfect World. Uh, but... In a perfect world, the developer of the game, the original creators and all that, would stay with the game the entire time, and you know nothing bad would ever happen, and the world would be great, and everything would be glorious and fantastic. Unfortunately, that's not reality, and that's definitely not what happened with the Heroes of Might and Magic series. That being said, it was picked back up, it was continued, and in my opinion, it was improved upon. And I know a lot of people disagree, and that's totally fine, you know. Everybody has different tastes. I don't particularly like onions. Most of the world, I assume, does. I, I mean, I actually don't know. I, I, and if they do, I don't know why. But hey, you know what? I assume that most of the world likes onions. I don't like onions. I don't like seafood. There's a lot of things that I don't enjoy. There's things that I'll enjoy that you won't like. But that's just it. I don't go and, like, trash you guys and be like, Oh my god, you eat onions? You're the worst person alive. I can't believe the onions are this, this and that. You know, it's I don't like it. I move on. I do something else. I, I wish people had more of that mentality, I guess, when it comes to stuff like video games or videos or whatever the case is, right? Whether you're consuming media or whatever, whatever. Just uh, like, okay, this clearly isn't for me. I'm just going to move on and, and, and be done with it. But it's, you know, these, this vocal 
fan base, this rabid fan base that really enjoyed this, you know, certain product. We'll say in this case, it's most assuredly, um, you know, Heroes of Might Magic 3 in this case. Uh, just crapping on everything that's come after it. And, like, it's the only true game. And you, you know you know all the stories, all the arguments and all that. They're all good. They, they all have their place. You know, despite me really not liking HOM 1, that's the one that I can say that I do not like. I can appreciate where it came from, what it did, how it birthed this series, and so on and so forth. I can appreciate all that. To me, that makes it... Wait a minute. Everything's built here. How... Then, do we not have a... What? And the town has been reached? What? Oh, no. Oh, well, that's weird. What an arbitrary thing to keep away from me. You can't have your upgraded Minotaur. Oh, no, not my upgraded Minotaur. Like, who cares? Eh, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'm sorry, I know I got off point, but just like stuff, guys and gals. Or if you don't, just don't like it. I mean, you don't have to be nasty and try to shame everyone who likes things that you don't like and say, you know, oh, the other stuff's so much better. I, like, I, I love seeing and hearing the opinions of people who don't just conform to that same, you know, what I guess, oh, we got a minus to our morale there. Um, the normal way of thinking, like, HOM3 is the best. I like seeing the, the contrary comments, the ones that are like, um, actually, you know, all these other things are way better. Because I, I feel the same way. Like, HOM3, great game. Very, very, very good game. One of the best of all time. I don't disagree with that. However, I like 5 better. I kind of like 6 better. And I definitely like 7 better. Again, uh, 7 has its issues. I'm not I'm not selling that short. I'm not trying to sweep that under the rug. Or at least it did. I've actually been told that they fixed all these issues. So that's quite curious and very interesting to me. I almost wish I had the time to... Alright, I, I do wish I had the time, but I almost want to go back and play. Tom 7 again, just to see, you know, how it is now that they've had time to work through most of the bugs. Like I said, many folks have told me that the bugs are virtually gone now. There's not really a lot of issues. Whether that's true, and again, I know not everybody had every bug. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know that I can commit another, you know, 100 plus hours to the game. Or more. I can't even, well, it's over 100 for sure. That's where the plus came from, but... Still, I don't know that I can commit that much time again to doing something that... I mean, I've already done it, right? I've already covered it, so... And it's done well. It's done very well for me on the channel. Uh, I don't know, folks. I don't know. Like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm still in a pretty good mood. Uh, I just... I fear like... I, I feel like and I fear that the... Just the overall negativity that this fan base as a whole... Or at least is perceived. Because I know, again, not everybody is, is that way. I feel like I'm, I'm talking in circles again. I apologize. But just the overall negativity around this fan base and this series in general has probably scared off any future developments in the series. I'm hoping that's not true. But it's been, like, what, half a decade or more since uh, HOM 5 released? Sorry, sorry. Since HOM 7 released, the last HOM in the series, and I mean, rightfully so with the issues and the problems that did pop up, you know, obviously there was definitely needing to be some, uh, some hey, this isn't quite right, there's a lot of bugs, errors, and problems. But just the, the hatred and just the overall negativity, it's like, why would you continue to try to bring, to keep a series that, let, let's just say there's somebody at Ubisoft, I don't know if there is, but... Let's just say there's somebody at Ubisoft that really loves the Heroes of Might and Magic franchise, or Might and Magic franchise as a whole. They picked it up and they're like, you know, this, this world's great, I love these games, I want to be able to continue making these things, and I want to keep the franchise alive and going. But every time you make a game, you try a different developer every time, uh, it doesn't live up to maybe your own expectations completely, or maybe it does, but every single one of the people that are vocal in the fan base 
or like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. Oh, they should sell it off and blah, blah, blah. You know, at some point, you're just going to be like, why am I bothering trying to satisfy these people? When all they want is a clone of a, you know, 25-year-old game. I don't remember when Hom 3 re released. Was it 99 or something? So, like, a 22-year-old game that, honestly, is... I, I don't want to say okay at best. I mean, it's just... It's not as good as what's come out after. It really is. I mean, Hom 4 aside and not aside because I think it's garbage. Aside because I haven't played it enough to really draw any logical conclusions. First first impressions, I was not impressed. But, uh, I don't know. I, again, I get rambly when there's not a whole lot of stuff for me to talk about. Ooh, we get a week of the Raider, which is nice. Get our little, little uh, dinosaur boys get a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a buff there. I'm here for it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much my uh, my whole spiel in a nutshell, guys and gals. I I wish I wish things were slightly different. Where is this at? How do I get here? Um... Okay, there we go. I'm like, I'm like, how did the map just change? So we'd have to come out here and run all the way down to there, which is fine. We can do that. You know what? In fact, I am even going to start that path. That's good. That works for me. And we get to continue this way. Big old dino bones. And get this. That does really nothing for us, but hey, you know what? It's cool. And we almost see the whole picture. I still am not sure where that's at. I'm sure we can find it. Like I, I feel like it's probably like right in the middle of the map. Probably like right here somewhere. That's my guess. But we'll see. Um, what to do with you now? I don't really care about that or that, honestly. Um... I suppose I can move in this direction? Maybe? Not real sure. Either way, guys and gals, looks like it's going to be at least one more episode before we're completely done with this. I can't see it going another full episode. I mean, maybe. But we should be in the... We should definitely be in the next area by the... Uh, by the end of the next episode. I, I can't... Like I said, I can't really fathom it taking me that much longer to finish this up. I think I'm going to go this way with you, and we're just going to kind of split it up and just see what happens when we get on the surface. All right, I'm going to do a couple more turns, and we're going to break it all off. I'll, I'll, again, I know I've rambled about this, and I've, I've complained about it, and people, of course, get, uh, you know, they get upset. They get their feelings hurt, I assume. They're like, oh, you're insulting my favorite game of all time, and it's like, look, I'm not insulting it. It's good. Let's say let's say five is my favorite, and I think it is. I, honestly, I would still say seven would be my favorite if it didn't have the problems that it had. But let's say five is my favorite, right? I would say with a fair amount of certainty. I'm gonna try chain lightning. That if five's a hundred, so if it's the best game in the series, according to me, of course, that would also mean. How does this work? What I thought was going to happen. I want to make sure. Um, then let's say seven's the second best. So I would say 100%, or a 100 out of 100, right? That's going to be number five. And then for number seven, I would put that probably at like 98 out of 100. It's really close. And then if I like six as my next one, it would probably be like a 96, 97 out of 100. And then three is right behind it. It's like 95, 96 as well. It's like real close. And I don't know. Maybe I like three more. It, it, it fluctuates, guys and gals. Depends on what I'm playing, how much fun I'm having with it, and so on and so forth. Things that I like and dislike. You know, like there's there's stuff. There's some stuffs there that kind of changes, you know, depending upon what I'm doing. So all that being said, it's not like, oh, three is a garbage game and nobody should ever play it or, you know, that's never been my intention. Because again, I really enjoy three. I had a lot of fun playing it. It's 
definitely got the nostalgia pop from me. You know, that's that's when I think of Hom, that was where my mind always used to go was Hom three. But after having played Hom five, Hom seven, and Hom six, it's like, eh, you know, those are pretty good. Those are pretty darn good. I really enjoyed playing those too. And there, at no point did I play any of the, you know, Hom five, six, or seven to be like, oh, this is just bad. I hate this. And I just, I just don't understand the hatred. But again, I'm not one of the overly negative folks out there, right? I don't tend to just poop on stuff for the sake of pooping on it. So, eh. I do things a bit differently. I tend to be slightly more positive. It's all good, folks. It's all good. I'm just glad that there are so many fans of the series and that they're passionate about what they're passionate about. Like, I think we can at least appreciate that. I think I can appreciate a circle of winter, and I'm going to. Enjoy! Uh-oh. I miscalculated that real bad. Whoopsie! I, I thought they were slower for some reason. Not slower as in, like, later, like, they couldn't move as far. Well, there you go. Mistakes were made. All right. I've already visited to did, did you? Yeah. Oh, we might as well stop off there. I don't know what I was doing with you, though. Oh, it was something like I was going to swing around and, and gather up something. What, what was I gathering? Was it this thing right here? Yeah, it was this. Okay. It's all good. There we go, we actually got the ore pit this time, instead of missing it like we did so many times before it. Alright, so I think at this point most of the map is clear. I really think we're just about done. I'm going to traverse over to this part and kind of start doing exploratory things there. Anyway folks, as I said, I'm going to try to break off the episode right around now. I want to do a few more turns, I wanted to ramble a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be a bit more focused on what we're doing. Like I said, uh, these are kind of unimportant times, really, because you're just seeing me soak the map. I, I, again, almost feel like I should just not show this because it's, you know, not overwhelmingly exciting. This is kind of, eh, you know. It's just the stuff you... It, this is doing hom things, basically. You know, you got to get the most out of the map. You can't just let stuff go by. You can't just let go of free stat upgrades and stat points and stuff you, you need to get those things and if you don't well in the course of adventures the heroes tend to find more gold and be more lucky overall sure so it is what it is i know people love me saying certain sayings repeatedly over and over again so there you go gotta get all of those in gotta get them catchphrases guys and gals you know how people love stuff like that they hate it so much but that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you guys still had some fun. You listen to me ramble. You listen to me gripe and moan and complain a little bit. We'll, we'll be more, I, I say, I, I don't like being negative, but then I go on these little little baby rants about how negatively impacted the negative comments of negativity are negativified. And it's like, eh, okay, maybe maybe I'm, maybe I'm on the wrong side of this one here a little bit. I need, I need to get a little bit uh, a little bit out of this this whole headspace, this whole mind. Uh, Mind experiment, if you will. So, yep, until the next episode, guys and gals, where we finally put this map to rest, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.